this is Karate Spencerio one here, and today I'm going to be bringing you some info, tips, and custom class recommendations for sniping Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. So, let's get to it. Sniping in Modern Warfare 3 is very efficient, and being a good sniper is key to having a lot of kills. So, first off, one of the great things about sniping is that you can snipe from far away and close up, and then you can hard scope and quick scope. So, if you don't, if you're not familiar with those two terms, hard scoping is getting in on your scope and searching for your opponent. While quick scoping is going up, it doesn't matter if you're close or far, or just pulling up your scope really quickly and shooting them. So, another great thing about sniping is that they most likely will kill with one shot, and you. It's really rare to get. Uh, hit markers. So, some tips I recommend for sniping in Modern Warfare 3 is that you turn up your sensitivity as high as you can. Because in, this, in Modern Warfare 3, sensitivity is really how fast you move. And having a high sensitivity means you can turn really fast. So if there's an enemy behind you, you can just turn around really fast and quick scope them. So, let's go and get some custom class recommendations. <laughs> Alright, so when making your custom class for sniping, I highly recommend either using the L118A or the MSR. These two are very efficient and don't get hit markers very often. I personally prefer the L118A, and another great thing about the 11 L11-8A is that it's unlocked at a very early level. So, I would choose the L11-8A over the MSR. Then comes the proficiency for your sniper rifle. I personally like kick, but really stability is okay if you're if you're really a hard scoper. And then, but speed, I don't really see a lot of benefit in speed. Focus, there's not a lot of benefit in it. Attachments, really when you're sniping, you don't need a lot of attachments. Impact, I don't really snipe through materials that much, so I don't really use that. So, I would choose kick. Then, if you're a hard scoper, then I would recommend you choose a variable zoom scope. The variable zoom scope can lets you zoom in very far and close up to your opponent so you can see your opponent better. If you're a quick scoper, mostly, then I would recommend using extended mags. Then comes your camo, pick your camo, then get your secondary. I don't recommend using any launchers as your secondary because sometimes you just need a really quick to, um, gun to finish off your kill with a sniper rifle or if someone's behind you. So, I personally like the machine pistol FMG9 with dual wield on. Then comes your lethal weapon. If you have pretty quick reflexes and like quick scoping, like me, I would recommend using the throwing knife because you can pick it up right after you throw it. Then, if you're more of a hard scoper, I would recommend either using a claymore or bouncing Betty to guard your position. Okay, so throwing knife. Then, for your tactical, I would recommend either using a smoke grenade. Concussion grenade or flash grenade. So I like the flash grenades, but that's really up to you. Then your perks. You won't be very good without sleight of hand and definitely quick draw. You need quick draw to quick scope. Quick draw helps you pick up your sniper faster and is really effective. And sleight of hand pro, which is perk one, will helps you reload fast, which is very good. Then, for my third perk, I would use Steady Aim Pro, because it helps when you quick scope. Then, your strike package. This strike package is really up to you. I prefer the assault, but really the strike package is what your preference is. Then, the death streak. I personally don't see very much use in using hollow points for a sniper rifle because most of the time you kill with one shot anyway. Dead Man's Hand, that can be good. Marty Dawn, that can be good. Final Stand, that can be good. 
Revenge, I don't see the point for that because while you're looking for that person who killed you last, you're very likely to get killed again. And Juiced, I personally don't see a lot of uh, help in Juice. So I choose Mario Dom, Final Stand, or Dead Man's Hand. And that would be my custom class recommendations to you. I hope this helped and come back. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And this was Karai Spencerio 1. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, hit the subscribe button above and like. Thank you.